Grenfell could have been safer. Documents shown at the inquiry reveal that residents initially favoured a safer zinc metal cladding. Various cladding options have been shown to residents with the composite zinc cladding system being favoured by the majority. This was in 2012, five years before the fire. But when the renovation work started two years later, the cladding was switched to a highly flammable aluminium composite material known as ACM, and residents were never told. Was the change from zinc to aluminium clearly signalled to the residents? Um, not by myself, no. By anybody else? Um, I, I, I don't know, I suspect not. I do solemnly... Claire Williams was the project manager for the tower's refurbishment for the KCTMO, the council's housing organisation. It would have been perhaps more productive to say, we did show you this, but it's become this. It, it was um, an omission on my part. But long before the fire, residents gave many fire safety warnings to the KCTMO. One of them even wrote a blog predicting a catastrophic event in the tower eight months before it actually happened. But the KCTMO actively ignored these predictions. They blocked the blog from their own computer system and dismissed the warnings as scaremongering. But private emails show the KCTMO did have fire safety concerns. This email about a faulty ventilation system that wasn't fixed three years before the fire said, let's hope our luck holds and there are no fires in the meantime. Did you think at the time that hoping your luck would hold, a sort of fingers crossed attitude, was really an appropriate way of discharging your health and safety functions? I, say, I, I didn't think of it in those terms, but I, I appreciate it is a health and safety issue, which is why both of us were trying to keep it moving forward. And just three years later, the fire at Grenfell did happen and 72 people died.